early on, I started doing self portraits in the 70s. Uh, when I was in my early 20s, things changed really quickly. When I was in college, the feminine mystique book had not been, you know, published yet. And we were brought up to believe, and these are great professions that we would be either nurses or teachers, both great professions, and particularly now. Uh, but as the 70s progressed and all the books were coming out about uh, women claiming their own territory, finding their own voices, I realized that uh, I wanted to be an artist and photographer, and I wanted to start with myself. So I, I took you know thousands of self-portraits and friends encouraged me to publish a book. And I thought, you know, this is really more than me. And I decided I would edit a book of self-portraits by women. And back then we didn't have, you know, the internet and all of that, but I took out an ad in the, you know, the biggest photo magazine back then and, you know, made, had a press release of my editing a book of self-portraits by women and, and asked them to send me, you know, a, a portfolio to be seen and, uh, you know, and I would, I edited those images. I mean, I thought I would probably, you know, maybe get 50 or 100 portfolios and I got close to a thousand. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I had to open all those boxes, you know, now we send all of our images, um, you know, via the net and it, I've edited two books since then. And it was so much easier because people just send us their JPEGs which were easy to open and and look at and critique so but that first book actually uh you know i i went to new york on the train because i was living in dc then uh and teaching at the corcoran school of art at that time and i went to see made appointments with nine publishers and eight of them said no to my book mm. and on the ninth meeting i got a yes and I published it with David Godin Publishers, who's kind of a boutique fine art um, uh, publisher in Boston. And uh, it became an immediate bestseller, much to my amazement. And the only problem was that it sold out in two weeks. And yeah. since they were a small publisher, they couldn't go back to, um, you know, to press that uh, easily. But it, it was also, um, chosen by Time Magazine as one of the five best photo books of 1972. So I, you know, that was a launch for me and I was on the map. And uh, soon I decided that I wanted to go to New York and that I, I felt that although Washington was the nation's capital, it was, as John F. Kennedy said, almost a sleepy city back then, a sleepy Southern city. And, I just felt that um, I would do better in New York and I would be happier in a more international arts community. And so I moved to New York and was very lucky that American photographer put one of my fine art images on their cover. And it was an immediate you know, sensation because I, do, I, I did have that signature style. And, and so I got lots of opportunities opportunities to do, um, you know, have exhibitions, but also to do, to work with top magazines like the New York Times Magazine and Premiere and uh, Entertainment Weekly. Gosh, I even did a cover for Life Magazine before they went under. And so it, it was, you know, it was just uh, a, a wonderful, uh, you know, going to New York was, the best decision I ever made in my life. You know, I would have, you know, died a slow death in DC being kind of a, uh, you know, an artist that, you know, had just didn't have the uh, ability to, uh, to have the opportunities I had once I got to New York. 